Thanks, John. Uh, thanks, Dennis, for coming out uh, as quick as you did. Uh, you got here before me, but uh, fans had a ball here tonight. Uh, you're smiling. I know you'd, you'd, you'd like to have gotten that extra point. How much fun is it for players in a game like this that goes to a shootout? Oh, it's so much fun, uh, especially for a young guy like me. You know, first year in the league, being able to you know watch something like that with the crowd was you know it was packed in there and it was loud and I had a lot of fun. You're playing uh, on average about 20 minutes a night. Uh, you probably didn't expect that when this whole thing started, but uh, tonight's game was an interesting game. You were moved around with some different people. You're playing with veteran guys. The first couple of weeks of the season, you were with, you were with fellow rookies, if you will. How much of a change has that been for you coming into here, just trying to make your own way and get your own foundation set as an NHLer? Um, well, you know, like you said, there were a lot of rookies at the start of the season, and um, some of the older guys were, you know, injured, and a lot of younger guys we had to step in and play bigger roles. But some of the older guys are back now, and you know they're big role models for me. And I just try to—I'm like a sponge. I just try to soak up wherever I can. And you know, guys like Mike Green and Nick Cronwell, those are those are big idols for me. We'll get to a little more of that uh, in a minute. But uh, now we've gotten by the first quarter of this season. Is it what you expected? Uh, any big surprises for you as a, as a junior coming into the NHL? Uh, no real big surprises. Um, just the general speed and size of the game is the biggest difference. Um, nothing too drastic, but, you know, guys are older and, and bigger, and you have to make plays a little quicker. As a 19-year-old myself, which is a long time ago, I remember in Montreal thinking, I'm not sure I can really compete at this level. I've been playing with... John Bellavo and a bunch of guys and going, man, do I really belong? Did you have any feeling like that at all when you were coming up and thinking, am I good enough to be here at that stage of trying to get your set, yourself set? Yeah, I mean, back in my younger days in, in Bantam, you know, I didn't really know where my career was going to go. I was a small kid and hadn't really grown at all, and everybody around me was growing, so I was kind of falling behind a bit. But, um, yeah, you know, I just kept you know, working hard and... and you know, eventually it worked out, and I'm extremely happy. Were you a rink rat as a kid? Big time. Yeah. Big time rink rat, yep. Uh, junior to the NHL. You started in college, went to St. Cloud. You made the move. Uh, first of all, what made you make that move? What made you make that decision to go to junior out of, out of St. Cloud? I was mostly just to play more hockey. You know, you play a lot of games in junior, whereas in college you don't play so many. So, um, you know, I had one good year where I was in the gym a lot and getting bigger and stronger, but then, you know, we decided... It was better for me to play more games and in more situations, and it benefited me a lot. You got drafted by the Red Wings uh, two years ago. How did that feel, that very moment where the Detroit Red Wings announced your name as their pick? It's one of my favorite moments of my whole career. Um, it's a night I'll never forget. Um, I actually had no idea I would be drafted by the Red Wings. You know, they didn't give me any indication at all, and I think that was the coolest part about it. And, um, yeah, it's a night I'll never forget. H had you interviewed with them at all? I interviewed point. one briefly during the season, nothing else, and I really had no idea they would draft yeah. me. Yeah. Um, so the biggest biggest transition for you has been what? Did anything jump out at you coming from junior, getting to the NHL? You mentioned size and strength so far, but uh, has anything surprised you in the first 20 games, 20 games or so of the season? Um, not really on the ice. I guess it's just off the ice, to be honest. You know, finding your own place to live and living by yourself and... You know, you're not with a billet family anymore, so you have to, you know, figure out how to fend for yourself a little bit, and obviously you can lean on the older guys sometimes for that, but um, on the ice, no real big difference, but I think off the ice is probably the biggest change. Speaking of older guys, uh, you mentioned all the rookies were in early, and you were part of that group, then all the guys started coming back. Uh, you've played with Green, you've played with uh, Cronwall, two of the elder statesmen on this team. Has any one of them jumped out at you uh, that's, that's meant more to another? I know they're all important to a young guy, but is any one guy whispering in your ear more than the others? Um, you know, to be honest, I can't really say. You know, they've all been so helpful. Uh, obviously, I'm playing with Nick Cronwell right now, so he's talking to me all the time, and um, you know, like I said before, I just try to soak up whatever he says, and Every little detail he gives, you know, he's been around so long, so he knows, you know, he knows how to play, and he's been around. So, um, yeah, whatever he says, you know, I try to listen. Cronwell's played the right side. He's played the left side. Uh, do you have a preference, right or left, being a left-hand shot? I do not, no. I've played both. Growing up, I played both, so, yeah. And power play time, you've gotten a, a nice dose of that. That's got to be good for your confidence. You scored in your first game, which always helps for anybody, <laughs> defenseman or not especially. <laughs> um, but... 
power play time is always key time for anybody, isn't it? You, you get extra points, you get that, that good time with the extra men on the ice. Yeah, for sure. It's a, you know, it's a confidence booster, especially for a young guy like me. Um, being able to, you know, be out there and you know, create scoring chances and you know, try to be as offensive as I can. It's a big confidence booster for me. They talk, to, talk about you being a great skater, and that's one of your assets. Uh, how old were you when you first skated out west? Three, four years old. Yeah. Yeah. Like most of us, I think yeah. three or four. You out in the outdoor rink at all or no? Uh, no outdoor rinks. No outdoor um, rinks. You're too get, young for that. Yeah. <laughs> didn't get cold enough in Vancouver for that. But, um, yeah, no, everybody wanted to play hockey yeah. in Vancouver, that's for yeah. sure. And was it hockey for you only, or did you play a lot of other sports as well? Like only Olympics? hockey. Only hockey. Yeah. And, uh, okay. With hockey, you watched a lot of stuff, Hockey Night in Canada, all that stuff in Canada. Um, did you have an idol? Who were you, who were you looking up to over those years? Ooh. Well, I was always a Canucks fan. Uh, we had season tickets when I was growing up. So, um, you know, some of the old Canucks defensemen, and, you know, I always liked the season. you remember Harold Sneps? I do. Sneps, he played here. I, He's I, a character. I do remember Tough him. guy. Yeah, yeah. I met him at the uh, NHL Combine, and he was a really nice guy, and I enjoyed talking to him. <laughs> Who's this yeah, guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even How remember there, when that was. About 10 or 11 so years old? Have to be, at uh, least. Yeah, that's... Now, you look like you're not very happy, but you got a medal in your hand. What's your mom saying to you? That's a silver medal, that's why. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, we all have our trials and tribulations as we're, uh, as we're getting uh, into, the, into the hockey world. They say that you're, you're kind of quiet. Would you say yourself you're kind of a quiet guy most of the time? Yeah, more Be seen of, and not heard kind of thing? Yeah, more of a quiet guy. Just try to work hard and, you know... Yeah, I'm not the most... Never been the most outgoing or talkative guy, but, you know... Some guys are, some guys aren't. So how did that all develop when you went to St. Cloud State and you met your girlfriend, Brooke, and that whole story is another one with Blashell being the coach and friend and the phone call yeah. and getting time off. Uh, talk to me a little bit about meeting her at college and, uh, and all that good stuff. Well, obviously, she's the big bright spot about, you know, being in college, and I'm very thankful I got to meet her. And, um, yeah, I had a lot of fun in college, and I see some pictures here. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, we had a lot of fun together, and, you know, she was sad to see me leave, but, you know, we spent a lot of time together in the summer, and There's she's actually shot. here right now. Is that out west? That's out in Vancouver. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. And the harbor there. Yeah. That's where we used to stay, down at the Harbor Inn or Bay Harbor or whatever yeah, they call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. nice area. That's good stuff. Um, so she's a hockey player, yeah. we understand. Tell the gang the story about her wanting to come here. When you got called to play in your first game, she had to make a phone call and beg for some time off. How'd that work? Uh, she said it actually wasn't too hard, you know, um... You know, her coach knows Blash, so that helped. Um, you know, I think he was pretty understanding. He said, just go ahead and, you know, have fun and take, a, take as many days as you need, which was, yeah. you know, kind of shocking to me, but yeah, I, was, yeah. I was thankful that it happened. What position did she uh, play? Forward. Okay. Forward. Yeah. Okay, so you're, you're teaching her how to defend, and she's teaching her how to defend when she's going to come down on you. Do you guys ever play against each other? She's a goal scorer, so, ah, yeah, that's, okay. that's where, well, I mean... I don't have so many. Oh, look at that. There's a great shot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I get that from her whenever you see it. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, so, you, so you make the decision to, uh, to, to take off to junior, and uh, is she still, did she still stay at St. Cloud after that? She did, yeah. Okay. She's still there now, yeah. Okay, that's cool. And now that you've made the jump, uh, two years, they said, you, you said you wanted to get better and you wanted to get stronger. They wanted to keep an eye on you. You said to get stronger in the summertime, you came to Detroit. How did that all play out? Uh, you worked out off the ice, a little bit on the ice and everything? Yeah, I was working out, you know, every day pretty much. Um, you know, Sean Horkoff and Dan Cleary, they were all over me to, you know, be in Detroit and, and working out. And um, Yeah, it, it definitely benefited me a lot. I've been here the last two summers and got me in the best shape of my life so yeah I'm, I'm happy with it so through training camp you had a good training camp obviously you raised a lot of eyes uh, uh, my last question or one of my last ones would be how did it feel when you were told you're not going down you're staying here that had to put a big smile on your face oh big time you know it's what every young kid wants to hear um, you know that's always been the dream you know be told to find a place in in Detroit and uh, when it happened I was so ecstatic you know I it was just a blur I can't hardly remember it to be honest it yeah. was just so exciting when time settles down, uh, you will, I'm sure, and you'll smile a lot more. It's been a great first quarter for you. Uh, Red Wing fans are enjoying watching you, Rasmussen, Athanasiu, the young guys, Bertuzzi, develop right in front of them, and uh, you've certainly been a bright spot for all of them. So congratulations on a great start, and keep her going, and thanks for this. I will. Thank you. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, Dennis. Dennis Chalosky, gang, uh, take it away.